Hey guys! Hi! So, people have been asking us to make a video about how we met, and that's what we're gonna do finally. It's only been like five years since we almost, not yet, but coming up in five years since we started our YouTube channel, mm. and this has been one of the most requested videos. So, we have been together for about six years, and it's, I it's think, getting closer seven. to seven years. Mm -hmm. Married for more than five. I don't feel like you've been married <laughs> for that long. I know. Okay, so how we first met was I, in America, in my university, I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life, and I just kind of joined the Air Force ROTC on a whim, and they told me that they would pay for my entire university, uh, all my bills, if I majored in Japanese. Mm. So I majored in Japanese, and then I really, really wanted to study abroad. At that time, I was mentally prepared when I came to Japan to just focus on studying the language because I was really, really into my Air Force stuff and I just wanted to do like a really good job. Um, like when you do the officer track, it's so, so competitive. You basically have to be the best person ever at everything. Mm -hmm. So I was really, really set on just studying. And then when I got here, the very first day, that was ruined! Thanks to June, because I met June like the very first day, and then all of my plans just, just how, crumbled how, how and are destroyed. They, how are they related? <laughs> so, you, could, you could still study hard. Um, okay, so I got off the plane, and then I had some people who were working with the study abroad program who helped me get my like find my way to the international dorm where I was staying. Mm. And then when I got to the international dorm, that's when June met me at the front door because he was going to be my RA, my resident assistant. Basically, she came study abroad at my university and that's how we met. Yeah, and so June met me at the door and then he showed me around the dorm where I stayed and like he showed me how to do my mailbox and make my bed and everything there. Well, basically, our RA job is just like help all the exchange students there to like survive and just I was basically a handyman. That's that was my job. Yeah, <laughs> and the first, the very first time I saw June, like literally, he just looked like one of those manga characters from like a shoujo manga. He was super tall and thin, and like he acted really cool. Like he was like twirling pens and stuff. You're just you were standing there. I remember the very first time I saw June, and he was just he was just standing there looking all cool, like, and I was like, oh man, that guy's gonna be a douche, cause he, <laughs> cause he's really, he's, he looks really cool. Okay, so, um, fact about me, I've never in my life been physically attracted to anyone, ever. Like, I've never, I've wanted to be, I've wanted to date, I've wanted to, like, have boyfriends and crushes like everyone else, but I just, I would never was, until I saw June, and so June was literally the first person that I've ever seen where I just saw him and I was like, he's attractive. Wow. I, I like this guy. And to this day, he's still the only person in my life I've ever seen who I thought was attractive. So, um, lucky me, like, the only person in the world I've found that I'm attracted to, we ended up being able to be together. So, um, I got super, super lucky there. I'm very honored. But, Coitus. <laughs> but I thought he would be a douche. He acted like he was really cool, and I thought he was so attractive. I was like, I'm sure he's got like three girlfriends, and like, and then, what? And I was like, oh, oh god, this is real. This is I can't do this. I came here to study. I can't like just get attracted to the first guy I see. What is what is that? Meanwhile, but, I was just like too busy dealing with all these foreign students <laughs> like oh okay now another foreign student is on the way what to do uh, like, yeah. but I didn't I didn't want to waste my time on like a pointless crush douchebag yeah on a <laughs> douchebag that would never go anywhere and that would just like ruin my studies so I was determined not to like June I was like there's no no I'm not gonna get into the, any of this I'm just going to not acknowledge anything and focus on my studies. And that lasted about two weeks <laughs> until I couldn't couldn't do anything anymore. So that was my first impression of June. What was your first impression of me? It was definitely like memorable mm -hmm. um, because like you're you came in by just by yourself mm -hmm. and like you have this like radiant red hair that was really really noticeable yeah. and like um, I think that was my first time for me to see people with red hair 
in my life because I grew up in Japan. I've never been outside of Japan really, so everyone has black hair. Like you're you're in a white coat on the day. Was I? Yes, you are. And like the contrast of your hair and your coat, you look like a model. I did not look like a model. And she walked like a model, like I did not. as as they walk on like a runway. False. <laughs> I thought not maybe true. maybe that was just me. So I asked other foreign students from. Um, one of them was from Australia, one of them was from England, and I asked them if um, they think you walk like a model, and they said yes. <laughs> you were talking to guys about how I walked? No, no, no. <laughs> like, no, they told me that they thought you were like a model, and I would like a bit of model job or something. And I was like, yeah, I thought so too. I don't think any of this is true. <laughs> and they're, they're not guys, they're, they're both female. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. But then when I asked her, she was like, um, no, I'm not a model. I'm, I'm gonna be an officer. I'm in the Air Force. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> so I was pretty impressed okay. by that, too. Because in Japan, we don't have, like, a military military anymore. Mm -hmm. We only have um, self-defense. Mm -hmm. So, like, I was really interested in your, in your career, too. Mm -hmm. So my first impression of you, I don't know if I can put my impression of you in one word, but just something that... I would never ever meet or see in my life if I didn't become an RA. Mm. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. The very first night I got there, there was a big um, like community, not community center, a co communal room with video games and like computers and all kinds of stuff. And that's where everyone was hanging out. A lot of new students had come in with me and um, so everyone was kind of there. And I was like, all right, I need to go like try to be social and get to know people and stuff. So I went and sat down in that room and I was across the table from June and a few other students. And I don't remember how we got on the subject, but you asked me about food. Hmm. And I remember that. I was really, really, really picky when I came to Japan. I can eat a lot more now than I used to be able to eat. And June ended up offering to make me a meal that day? I was going to make dinner for new students anyway, mm -hmm. and I invited other like a bunch of new students and you were one of them. Mm -hmm. I was really surprised by that because I, I seriously thought he would be a total stuck up dude. And I was like, he can wait, he can cook. And like he made donuts one day just from scratch. Like from nothing, just from ingredients. And then he like deep fried them into actual donuts too. And I was so impressed. I was like, oh my god! Did you, you hear cook yourself? Everything. I made donuts out of ingredients. That's how you make stuff. You know, okay. <laughs> if I want a donut, I go to a store and I buy a donut. I don't actually make donuts. How many people actually make donuts? Come on. So very quickly, my initial impression that June was for sure gonna be a douchebag just kind of like died off, yeah. and then he got better and better. Like he can cook. He's so nice. He likes video games. I found out he was sporty. He played like baseball and stuff. And I was like, oh my god, I'm, like sporty guy too. And then I, by the end of two weeks, I was just done. I was just over it. I couldn't, I couldn't resist the fact that I thought like he was the best thing ever. I just, I didn't know how to handle those feelings. And so um, I acted like a total idiot. <laughs> like if we would be walking down the hallway and I would see June, like, my heart would start beating really, really quickly, and my face would immediately go red, like, super, super red. I would just, like, blush everywhere. After a few steps of seeing June, I would literally, I just, like, put my head down, and I would just run past him, uh, just, like, out, just run away. <laughs> and then after, I would get, like, a couple steps behind him, and then he would be like, Nature dude. And I'd be like, oh, he wants to talk to me. And I would, like, be like, ah, ah, like, turning around. say things like um he would offer to let me use his bicycle so he let one other person borrow his bicycle key um a guy and then he let me borrow his bicycle and I was like I'm the only girl he let borrow his bike does this mean something it's like why why did he pick me there were so many things like this and I was freaking out because I didn't know if any of these were like signs like that he actually liked me, maybe he was just being super nice, because he is really super nice like this to everyone. I was like, does this, does this mean anything? Does he like me? But he made a meal for me. Uh, and... It was because you told me that you're going to size zero every single day to eat pizza. And <laughs> so I was like, a pizza. maybe, like maybe she pizza. won't be able to survive like this. <laughs> and, um, okay, the whole first month I was there, 
we didn't have any classes. They, they brought us in an entire month before classes started. And so some certain students who had already been there were off doing a homestay, but most of us just didn't have anything to do for an entire month. So we were just hanging out for a whole month. So um, we spent like all day, every single day together doing something. And so oftentimes at night, there would be a group of us sitting down and just talking or playing games and stuff. And the, June would be there and then I would be there and like I would want to be close to June. So I wouldn't leave until June left. And because June was the RA and he was like, he had to make sure students were okay and like they all got to bed okay and everything. He would stay up until everyone went to bed, but I didn't want to go to bed until June left. And so we were the last two people who stayed up to talk a lot. <laughs> so <That's got> <laughs> I had all these like secret plans to get June to like me. I was like, I'm just gonna be, I'm gonna be up really, I'm gonna stay up as late as he's up. And then I would be like, I'm gonna go, go exercise. I'm gonna go for a run but I'm gonna go stretch somewhere where June could see me. Maybe he'll be impressed that I exercise. <laughs> so. He was supposed to speak in Japanese to us because we were all there to like study Japanese. And my Japanese was so, so bad. I would use that as an excuse to talk to June. I'd be like, June, I, I'm practicing my Japanese. Can you help me practice my Japanese? <laughs> I was really happy to help I couldn't you. even say like anything. Your Japanese wasn't like, like intermediate or like out of bounds or anything, mm -hmm. but you're still trying really hard and um, like every day. Mm -hmm. So I, I got to be really impressed. Like, the fact that you're trying so hard was just like, I don't know, I respect you as a person too, but at the same time, like you're cute and adorable too. Next! I what? think, okay, so about like a month past of this, I had been doing my really horrible ritual attempts at <laughs> getting June's attention. Um, other people like June as well because how can you not? And so one day I got word, um, I got an email from my detachment and they told me that I ended up getting my number one job choice. Um, and I was super, super excited. And so I sent June an email on our phones. We didn't, you didn't do texting back then, you had like phone emails. And like, I was so nervous. I think that was the only, that was only like the second time I'd ever texted him. And I was like shaking while I was writing it, but I was just trying to like come up with a, uh, like an excuse to talk to him. So I was like, I got my, I told him I got my job choice. And then I just like hovered over the send button for like minutes. I was like, ah, just, is this, I don't know if I can do this. And I like hit send. And then June eventually responded and he was like, oh, that's cool. Why don't you come talk to me about it or something? And that was, his room was one away from my room and he would often just like chat with students in there um, just about whatever or help them with their homework and like help them with Japanese and stuff. Uh, yeah, like I kept my door open so that yeah, anyone yeah, can yeah. just come in. And so I went over to talk to June and we ended up staying up until like 4am talking <laughs> because I didn't want to leave unless he was going to be like, I need, I need to go to sleep. So I just kept trying to come up with other things to talk about. At this point, it had been like a month and I was like, I can't live my life like this with this insane infatuation crush. Like something need, I need to know, like something needs to happen um, because this is, it needs to be over. And so I started talking to Jude about things like, you know, there, there are girls here who like you and people say you would make a good couple with like this other girl. Are you are you interested in her? <laughs> Is there anyone you're interested in dating and stuff? And I would ask him this stuff, and he'd be like, I don't, I don't know. Eventually, I think I was able to get him to say that he was like interested in someone, but not the girls that I was talking about. So I was like, Oh, who, who are you interested in then? <laughs> this whole this was a, probably around like 3 30 a.m. or something and by then like June was so so tired like <laughs> I can't remember things clearly he was like his eyes were like this like trying to stay awake and I was tired too but he was not going to bed he was not being like Rachel can you leave I need to go to sleep and so that coupled with like all the other small things that maybe could have meant something I was I was like 
okay, maybe, maybe it's okay to be more forward. Eventually, June said, what would you say if I said I liked you? And I was like, okay, come on, you're not gonna, you're not gonna, that's like such a non-answer. My heart was beating out of my chest, my face was so red, so I was like, is, is that a real question? And then June was like, he just kind of nodded about it, so, and then I said, Watashi mo Jun-san ga suki desu. And then, and then June gave me a big hug. <laughs> it wasn't just like fun experience um, because obviously I was working there and I was getting paid so I had to like help everyone else like every day and I couldn't just spend time just with you. RAs weren't supposed to date the students obviously because then there's like a conflict of interest and mm. it won't be equal like right. I needed to treat everyone like equal. Right. Mm. So I mean I could be really good friends and spend time mm -hmm. with them like every day but it was a little different. Yeah, mm. so we had to keep our relationship secret, so the only person who knew that we were dating was my mom. And so, like, I couldn't tell anyone else, which was really awkward, because I would, like, sit around June all the time, because I would want to be close to him, and then eventually people would be like, Rachel's, like, really stalking June, she follows him everywhere, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I felt so bad. It was really awkward for both of us. We were only ever able to go on one date um, because June had so many responsibilities with like taking care of other students and stuff. Mm. Um, we have a little bit of footage from our secret date, like super awkward. But I think I still have that somewhere and if I can find it, maybe I'll put up a little bit of it on our second channel or something. So um, that's how we met. She um, came to study at Brahma University. I met her. And ever since then, we just been together. Yep. Yeah. And I was an RA, and I will still be Rachel's assistant. So <laughs> I will be an RA forever. <laughs> That's the end of the story. He just gets better all the time. And he's got an amazing cooking channel now because he's so good at cooking. If you guys aren't subscribed to his cooking channel, you should go check it out. It's June's Kitchen. I'll put a link here. Oh, th thank you. That ended up that ended up changing both of our lives because I was planning on being in the Air Force for forever and June was just going to be like a teacher or open up a cafe here mm. But I was definitely going to work in Japan, which I am doing now Yeah um, I'm doing YouTube also, but... Yeah, we ended up becoming YouTubers instead It's weird how life takes you in different directions But there's nowhere else I would rather be I feel really lucky that this is my life I'm glad too Thank you for being in my life you're welcome. Thank you too. <laughs> Alright, thank you for watching. Alright, bye. bye.